Hello everyone and many thanks for your interest. Tonight I'd like to have a quick chat about the Sea of Nectus, Mea Nectaris, southwest of Mea Feconditaitis. Now the Sea of Nectus is a large basin of about 290 kilometers across that was flooded by lava after a huge impact about 3.9 billion years ago. Prominent on the Sea of Nectus is the crater Theophilus to the northeast, um, Cyrillus, Catarina, and Factorius to the south of Catarina. And bordering to the right, to the west, is Montes Pirineus, which is bordering with Mea Feconditaitis. The thing with Montes Pirineus is that it has been the subject of interest by NASA because it has large deposits of um, basaltic material which is enriched with calcium and olivine and as we do know olivine has titanium dioxide uh, hence the relation with helium-3 and the potential for exploitation When, when we have a full moon, it's very difficult to observe features on the moon. But when we have a boxing crescent moon, like we have right now, because of the terminator, the divider line between day and light on the moon, uh, uh, along that line, we can see features, we can, we can see things more in detail. And tonight, the most prominent one is the Sea of Nectus. Mea Nectaris. Two hundred and ninety kilometers wide. It's quite big. And Theophilus itself is one hundred and three kilometers in diameter. I mean you can see the crater factorius to the south of Nectaris, Cyrillus, Catarina, and then you got Theophilos. West of Theophilos you got that little crater matter. And further up, you got Isidorus and Capella. There's a lot of interesting features in Nectaris, um, as well as the craters and craterless. You got zigzagging lines on the floor, the flat floor, and also quite a lot of wrinkle ridges. Taurus mountain range to the south of the screen. There was a lot of atmospherics on the moon um, tonight. Or maybe between Earth and the moon there was a lot of turbulence and distortion. And I noticed this happens when there's hot weather. And, you know, you wait until the day goes and during night time the, the turbulence is still there. So there is a lot of flickering. That's the case tonight, so I couldn't focus the telescope properly. And by the way, I'm using a C11 and I mount a uh, Logitech webcam C920 and I don't think it's a perfect setup so but I saw it's expensive for me so later in the year my plan is to purchase a DSLR camera um, so I can get better solution because through the eyepiece the picture is absolutely beautiful and perfect once you get a webcam and get a video 
you lose a lot of detail. So it doesn't make justice, you know, the camera doesn't make justice to, to the telescope, you see 11. There you go again in view, you got Fructorius, Fracastorius and Sea of Nectars, Catarina, Cyrillus and Theophilus, Madeleine in the middle, and to the right of Madla you got Isidorus and Capella.